स्वयं प्रभा फ्री डी चैनल फॉर एजुकेशन Uh, next one, let us see about the Green's function. Okay, so so up to this we have of time. Okay, up to this we have of time. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, use this various uh, parameters formula to obtain some formula uh, to obtain a function called Green's function. Okay, what is Green's function? Let us see. What is Green's function? Let us see what what we can uh, obtain. So the Green's function. Okay, what is Green's function? So as we have obtained this yp. Okay, our yp is going to become like uh, our yp is nothing but okay, our yp is nothing but uh, c1 y1 of x plus c2 y2 of x. Okay, so using this only we are going to obtain this one. So Green's function, what we are going to do is that for Green's function, for Green's function we are going to um, okay. So this Green's function is also uh, Helping uh, is going to help us to find the uh, non-homogeneous solution for the non-homogeneous problem. Okay, so that's what it is going to do. So therefore, uh, uh, what I have from the various uh, parameters step, I have y is equal to c1 of x into y1 of x plus c2 of x into y2 of x. Okay, so this is function of x, c1 of x, okay, and c2 of x, function of x. So now what I am going to do, I am going to substitute this value over there. Therefore, this is going to become like okay, yp is going to become like I can write it as c1 is going to become like minus y2 of x into r of x divided by w. Okay, I have to put integration into dx, okay, w of x into dx into I have y1 of x. Okay, plus c2, c2 dash is nothing but this one. Therefore, I am going to get again the same kind of thing. So, I am going to get integral y. 1 of x into r of x divided by w of x into dx into y2 of x is going to be there. Okay. Therefore, what you are going to get, you are going to simplify. I am just going to write this as okay. I am just going to put this as single integral. So integral. Okay. What I am going to have? I am going to have. Uh, okay. So we'll do one one small change here. Since that is also x here, also it's x. I am just going to modify this one. So wherever I have x in the integral, I'm going to change this t. Okay. Wherever I have x, I change this t. Okay. Because the inside the integral is just a dummy. Okay. Wherever I have x, I change this t. Okay. Because t is a dummy. I can do that. Okay. T x will become like t. Okay. Now what I'm going to put? I'm going to write this inside the integral. So I'm, I can write this as okay. Y1 of x I can write it because this is with respect to t1 I am integrating it. Therefore, this constant. Therefore, this is going to become like I am writing this one first. So y1 of t okay into y2 of t y1 of t into y2 of x sorry y1 of t into y2 of x okay and then I am going to write this one minus y2 of t into y1 of x okay into r of t okay. Divided by W of t into d. Okay, so this I am going to write. It. Okay, this I this I am going to write it because uh, y one and y two are they are not integrating with respect to t x. They are integrating with respect to t in this one. Therefore, this is not going to come. Okay, this is not going to uh, make any uh, mess around the, uh, the problem. Okay, so therefore, this is the one I am writing. So then, what I can write? I am just going to write this. Uh, Term, okay, whatever I have in this one, okay, that alone, I'm going to call this g of x comma t. Okay, g of x comma t, I'm going to write this, okay, y1, or I, I just write this as first g of x, okay. So for this one, I'm going to write this integral g of x comma t into r of t into dt. So the g of x comma t, I can write it as g of x comma t is going to become like y1 of t into y2 of x. Minus y2 of t into y1 of x divided by w of t. This is called the Green's function. Okay, this is called the Green's function. 
and this is particularly for that problem okay for that we will, we will discuss that uh, this is particularly for the problem uh, initial value problem okay so this is x not x y p of x by y this is the particular solution for the uh, initial value problem that it is running from x not x okay g of x not is into r of t dt is going to come where g of x comma t is this one okay g of x comma t is this one now if we have a uh, boundary value problem in that case this is going to be different okay so that also we'll see so this is the greenish solution for the initial value problem where g of x comma t is equal to y1 of t into y2 of x minus y2 of t into y1 of x okay so uh so if you want uh, this one to be like uh, uh, you you want this one to be boundary value problem so in case of boundary value problem what it is going to come this is going to be split out into two two parts okay for uh, how we obtain this one you can refer some of the supplementary lecture which are check out well uh, which i am not going to uh, give it over here right now so in that case what you are going to do is that you are going to do y b of x is going to become integral a to b integral a to b g of x comma t Into R of t dt, okay, and your g of x comma t is going to become like, okay. I'm going to split this split this into two parts, okay. One is for the uh, b uh, a less than t less than x part, another is going to be x less than t less than b part, okay. So g of x comma t is going to become like, I'll just write it here, okay. So g of x comma t, so here g of x comma t is going to become like uh, y one of t into y two of x, okay. Y one of t. Into y two of x by w of t if y less than t less than or equal to x, okay, and y two of t into y one of x divided by w of x if x less than or equal to t less than or equal to, okay. So these are the two things which are. So if you want to know how we obtain this uh, uh, proof of proof of this one, you can refer some of my supplementary lecture and then you can see that. Okay, so I I just keep this as uh, right. Now. So this is the Green's function for the uh, other problem. So now what I am going to do, I'm just going to generate, uh, I'm just going to solve some problem for this one. Okay, let us solve one problem, and then we will just see like what is the uh, uh, advantage and disadvantage, etc. So what is the advantage and disadvantage? Let us let me also tell you here. See in this case, uh, if you have the problem, okay, for, for example, we have discussed uh, the three different types of uh, uh, methods to obtain the solution for your non-homogeneous problem. So, for example, if you have a non-homogeneous equation of this kind, okay, uh, of this uh, kind, like uh, summation k x i e power a x, so that is superposition principle. So, in that case, what you have is that you have the Uh, sorry, uh, the method of undetermined coefficient. So, in the method of undetermined coefficient, what we have is that we have the uh, if r of x is this part, then y p you can find that. Similarly, if it is in annihilated method, you can find that. But as here, whenever your r of x is changing, you need to change your uh, you need to obtain this one, and then you have to find that. Okay, some advantage is also there here for this problem. You know what is going to be there, and then you can obtain that. But whenever uh, for some other uh, uh, r of x, if you don't know like what is for r of x. Are falling in this category, then you will be in trouble. So in that case, what you are going to do is that you are going to use this either you can go for this variation of parameter method or Green's function method. So in Green's function method, what you are going to do is that, or in a uh, uh, variation of parameter method, what you are going to do is that you are going to integrate this one and we are going to obtain it. Okay. So here you need to integrate this one and then you have to do here also almost you are going to do the same thing. But the Green's function is going to be same. Okay, for many of the problems, only R is going to change. Okay, only R is going to change. So you can just put the G of X comma T for a family of problem where R of X is alone changing. You can solve this problem. Okay, that is one of the advantage of this uh, uh, Green's function. So let us solve one problem for this. Okay, four by equal to three, and it is given Y of zero equal to two, Y dash of zero equal to one. Okay, this is given. So let us solve this problem. So you are putting your equation, auxiliary equation is going to become like m squared plus four equal to zero. Therefore, your m is going to become like plus r minus two y is going to come. Okay. Therefore, your y is going to become like uh, a cos two x plus b sin two x is going to come. Okay. This is going to be your a. This is going to be your y. Okay. Y is going to be a cos two x plus b sin two x. Therefore, you can know that y one is going to become like A cos 2x. So I'm just solving only the common case here. Okay. So I can write y1 is equal to cos 2x. Okay. And y2 is equal to sin 2x. Okay. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the green function. So for green function, first I need to find what is my W. So W is going to become like cos 2x sin 2x minus sin 2x. So 2 will come minus 2 sin 2x, 2 cos 2x. So therefore this is going to become like 2 cos square 2x minus and minus plus will come. So again 2 cos square 2x is going to come. Therefore it is going to become like 2. Okay. Because cos square 2x plus sin square 2x is 1. Now g of x comma t, okay, g of x comma t is going to become like, you are going to get it like uh, y1 of x. So uh, g, g of x comma t, what is g of x comma t? So g of x comma t is nothing but, you can just uh, uh, recall that, okay. So this is going to become like y1 of t, y1 of t into y2 of x minus y2 of t into y1 of x divided by w. Okay, therefore the g of x comma t is going to become like cos 2t sin 2x minus sin 2t cos 2x divided by 2. Okay, this is going to be your uh, uh, g of x comma t. So this is nothing but cos a cos b formula. So you can uh, cos a cos b, cos a sin b, sin a cos b. So you know those formula. So from that you can identify that this is going to be like 1 by 2 into sin of 2 into x minus t is going to be that. This is going to be your uh, sin uh, sin a minus b formula is going to come. Okay. Therefore, your yp is going to become like you can write yp. Yp is going to become like integral x naught x you are going to keep okay one by two i am going to take it out one by two into x naught to x okay so i'm going to get uh this one uh oh sorry we are solving this problem y double plus plus y y equal to x we are solving okay y double plus plus four by equal to x therefore this is going to become like r of t r of t is nothing but t so t into sine two x minus t okay this is going to be my YP. Okay, I'm going to uh, uh, find the answer for this one. That is going to be the answer for uh, your problem. So if you uh, do the integration, etc., then you are going to get YP is going to become like you are going to get x by four. Okay, x by four. You are x naught is also known. X naught is nothing but zero. Therefore, I can put zero here. Okay. So therefore, after simplification, you are going to get x by four minus sine two x by eight is going to come. Okay, this is going to be your YP. Okay. Therefore, you are, uh, y is going to become like you can write y is equal to a cos 2x plus b sin 2x plus x by 4 minus sin 2x by 8 is there. Okay. Now, what you can do, you can uh, substitute this value. y of 0 is 2 is given. Therefore, if I substitute uh, 0 here, this is going to become like a, this is going to become 0, this is going to become 0, this is going to become 0. Therefore, a is going to become like 2. Okay, a will be 2. Now, y dash of 0 equal to 1 is given. Therefore, if you substitute it here, this is going to become like y dash. So it is going to become like uh, minus a sin 2x, uh, 2 sin 2x, and then 2b cos 2x is going to come. This is going to become like 1 by 4, and this is going to become like cos 2x by, uh, uh, 2 cos 2x by 4 is going to come. Okay. So therefore, if you simplify this, what you are going to get is that our, uh, b will be surviving. So b is going to become like 1 by 2 is going to come. Okay. So then what you can do, uh, you can substitute these values of a and b. In that case, you are going to get your answer as uh, 2 cos 2x plus uh, 3 by 8 sin 2x plus x by 4 is going to This is the simplification which you can Now, second problem. So, instead of the uh, instead of y double dash plus 4 by equal to x, I am going to solve y double dash plus 4 by equal to 3. Now, my problem is y of 0 equal to 1, okay, and y dash of 0 equal to uh, y, da, y of pi by 4, okay, y of pi by 4 we have pi by four is going to become like, again, that is also, okay, that is zero, okay? So now for this one, again, the same kind of logic is going to come, etc. cetera, x is going to come. Now for g of x comma t is going to be different, okay? So up to here it is same, only g of x comma t is going to become different. So g of x comma t will become as follows. g of x comma t is going to become, okay? Uh, y1 into, uh, Y1, y1 into y2 of x is going to come, therefore this is going to become like cos 2t sin 2x divided by 2, okay, when a, uh, a less than t less than x, therefore this is going to become like 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to x because your a is 0 and then this is going to become like sin 2t cos 2x divided by 2, okay, and this is going to become like uh, x less than or equal to 
less than or equal to pi by 2. Okay, so this is your GR proximity. Now, what you can find, what you can find your OEP. Okay, OEP is going to become like integral. So you need to do two, two things. One is 0 tx is going to integrate plus 0 tx, okay, cos 2t sin 2x. I'm going to take 1 by 2 out, okay, into 3. So I'm going to put 3 here, okay, plus I have again integral 1 by 2 x2 pi by 4, okay. This is again, I'm going to take 3, uh, uh, 3 I can take it out, okay. So this is going to become 3 by 2. Similarly, I can take 3 out here, that's this constant. So 3 by 2, this is going to become like sine 2t cos 2x into dt is going to come. Okay, so that's what I have here. Okay, so even you can take the sine 2x also out and cos 2x also out in the first and second term. Therefore, you are going to get uh, only the sine cos 2t and the sine 2t you have to integrate. So once you simplify this, what you are going to get is that your OP is going to become like 3 by 4. Okay, minus you are going to get 3 cos 2x by 4. So these are simple integrations you can do and then you can evaluate. Therefore, your y is going to become like, in this case, your y is going to become like, this will change, okay, this part will change. So this is going to become like 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 cos 2x. Once again, substitute y of 0 equal to 1. Okay, if you substitute y of 0 equal to 1, you are going to get your a is going to become like 1. And if you are substituting b y, uh, y of 5 by 4, then your b is going to become like minus 3 by 4. Then you can simplify this. Therefore, you are going to get your answer as 1 by 4 into cos 2x minus 3 sin 2x. Plus three is going to come. Okay.